Hey guys, what's up? Lightball Joe here. Today we are going to discuss Lilo and Stitch. Not just specifically the 2002 movie which launched an entire... I was gonna say empire, it's really a franchise. But all, all Lilo and Stitch. Generalization. There's four movies. An epic TV show. I'm gonna express why it's so awesome. Why it deserves all of the awards, all of the credit. And all of the memories that I'm associating with Lilo and Stitch. I was 12 years old when Lilo and Stitch came out. My brother was 10 years old when Lilo and Stitch came out. Then they did a direct-to-home movie release. Um, Stitch the movie. Which then launched a television, television series. So I was in middle school. And my brother was in middle school when this TV series aired on the Disney Channel. 18's recorded <laughs> the theme song for it. Um... I know a little bit of Hawaiian because of these songs from both, all four of the movies. Then there was, uh, flash forward, there was another Lilo and Stitch movie, which was called Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch Has a Glitch, which is by far the best out of everything, and the most dramatic because Stitch literally dies, and Lilo is holding him and crying, and saying, no, Stitch, no, I can't lose you too. And it's just, oh my god, tears every single time I watched the movie horrifying but then of course stitch comes back because he's charged up again and if you haven't watched the movie like where the hell have you been it's been like almost two decades almost two decades of this gorgeous 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 movie lilo and stitch 2 stitch has a glitch is one of my if not one my all-time favorite disney film it wasn't even released in theaters beautifully executed tragic gorgeous inspiring Amazing. And then you have uh, the final movie, which was called Leroy and Stitch, which was the culmination of all three Stitch films and all of the seasons of the Stitch television series. You know, there's a, uh, there's a Stitch ride at Walt Disney World, which is actually closing to revamp because it's, you know, it's been almost two decades. You know, I, I get it. Things change. But the buzz that I need to hear is when Disney is doing a live action version of Lilo and Stitch. Now, I know we just discussed my hatred for the live-action version of Beauty and the Beast. If we're talking live-action Disney's, Cinderella wasn't bad. Beleficent was really good. Um, what else did we have? Jungle Book was really great. I did not expect Jungle Book to be that uh, to be as great as it. John Favreau did an amazing job, which obviously Lion King's going to be amazing because John Favreau's directing it as well. Mulan is going to be fantastic because it's based primarily off of the poem, not so much the Disney movie. So a lot of people are up in arms because Shang is not actually going to be a part of this live action movie. I'm kind of okay with that because like, I'm really excited to see Disney's live action take of the poem of Mulan, which is what the cartoon was based off of. The cartoon is amazing. You know, I, Mushu is one of the greatest characters ever, obviously. Then we have, uh, what? Dumbo coming out, Tim Burton's live action Dumbo. I could not stand Alice in Wonderland. That actually put me to sleep. Tim Burton's 2010 Alice in Wonderland. But I actually liked the second Alice in Wonderland. Alice in... No, what the hell is it called? Time something? I don't know. Whatever the hell the second live-action Alice in Wonderland is that Tim Burton did. I actually liked that more than the first. It was it was a much better story. It was much, I, I can't form words today. I'm just so hyper and so excited about Lilo and Stitch. Um... Um, what else? We have Christopher Robin coming out this summer. Well, I've actually Winnie the Pooh movie. So excited about that. Ewan McGregor is actually Christopher Robin. Amazing casting. So many things. Anyway, so a live action Lilo and Stitch would be so epic, but not have Lilo as the little girl from the comics and the TV series. Have Lilo, and I'm actually, this isn't my idea. This is some Tumblr user's idea that you have Lilo and Stitch the live action movie start where Lilo graduates high school and the Grand Chancellor woman offers Lilo a uh, commander position in the Galactic Armada and she only accepts it if Stitch is her co-captain and then they cruise the galaxy and fight the bad guys and I think that'd be so awesome to see Lilo as this bad ass commander in chief of a Galactic Armada owning everyone. I, it'd be so cool. And then the questions are, does Stitch age? Because he's an experiment. He's experiment 626, right? We learned that Juba didn't actually get to finish charging Stitch's molecules. That's why in Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch has a glitch. Glitch, uh, Stitch <laughs> freaks the F out. And he's, you know, and then he, he 
the charge wears off and he dies in Lilo's arms. We talked about that. I cry every single time. I'm strong enough to admit I cry every single time. Nothing wrong with crying. Sometimes you need a good cry. Just cry. Who the hell cares? Just cry. Get it out. You'll feel better. Get to breathe. Um, what? My mind is racing a mile a minute. P point being is when I, what I was talking about before with these happy memories associating Lilo and Stitch middle school time with my brother. So every day after school, my brother and I would get off the bus, we were both in middle school, we'd come home in the peak of our, you know, puberty stage, so we would eat just garbage. My go-to garbage was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with Cool Ranch Doritos on the inside. Or microwaved raviolis and you dip them in ketchup. Why? Couldn't tell you. I clearly can't, can't eat that stuff now, but that was my go-to snack food. We would sit down from school, have our junk food, watch Lilo and Stitch, sing along to the theme song. Iyailo Okawahila, no manihini ohana. Welcome cuz, come on by, lo ai como mai. Et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to continue on. But, uh, yeah, so we would just laugh and laugh. And, like, Lilo and Stitch, the series, was kind of like Pokemon. Like, Pokemon, you become the Pokemon master. I do that because I'm Ash Ketchum, I'm turning my hat. Collect all the Pokemon, right? Beat the gym leaders. Update your Pokedex. But Lilo and Stitch was Disney's version, kind of. Lilo had to find all of Stitch's cousins to find the place for them, to find where they belong. And it was such a beautiful silver lining, man. Like, everyone wants to find where they belong. Everyone wants to feel accepted and... What cousin needs to stay where to help out and be the best cousin that they could be and Stitch going cousin all the time and it's just it's 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 adorable and empowering and beautiful that we're all different and we're all supposed to be different but we're one big ohana. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. I can't do a Stitch voice so I'm not even going to pretend I know how to do a Stitch voice. I do have a giant Stitch though. Uh, we'll leave him there. He's still kind of in a Halloween costume. I'm aware it's May, but he's... Oh, look at that! He's, he's five months in. Five months ready for Halloween. He's got his vampire outfit on. He's good. He's good to go. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch, man. So, so, many, so, many, so many different viewings. So many, with my brothers, so many different viewings with my cousins. All the time, we would just blast 18s in their basement when they used to live in Pennsylvania. It was just so entertaining jumping on the couches in the basement and screaming at the top of our lungs, Hawaiian roller coaster ride. <laughs> it's just, that's the thing, man. That, that, that's why I like doing these reviews for you guys. Because the more I talk about it, the more these memories pop up. And then the more youth start to think. And you're like, oh, I remember watching Lilo and Stitch with my cousin one time. And I remember we, we did this at the beach because Stitch did this and stuff like that. Like, one of my biggest crushes is this awesome, awesome Hawaiian actor. His name is Kiahu Kahuanawe. He played Danny Mahalani in MTV's Team Wolf for the longest time. He actually tweeted me at one point. I made my made my year. I have his Team Wolf jersey. <laughs> my big fan. Kiahu is awesome. He is awesome. So I always saw him as a live action version of David. Like he could totally play David. Like, but then who would be his nani? Who would be David's nani? Nani? Who would be Kiahu's nani? Right? I think, in retrospect, if we're going to be completely honest, I honestly think that if, slash when, Disney does actually greenlight a live-action Lilo and Stitch, which Chris Sanders would obviously need to be a part of, Chris Sanders, the writer, creator, the director, um, who also did the How to Train Your Dragon series, which is why the How to Train Your Dragon series is fantastic, because Chris Sanders did Lilo and Stitch. Anyway, they really should get unknowns. That's what I really like about find, doing these big, big blockbusters. You find an unknown actor or an actress to play Lilo, to play Nani, to play David. To have someone in a <laughs> green unitard kind of thing to be Stitch. Stitch would obviously be CGI, but, you know, we have awesome technology now. They, Disney Disney know what's, knows what they're doing, minus Wrinkle in Time. That, that You're allowed to have one bumpy thing after another. But Lilo and Stitch, man, like, if you haven't seen any Lilo and Stitch anything, what are you doing with your life? You're not living. You have no idea the concept of, of any form of Nirvana if you've never seen any Lilo and Stitch. If you've never heard Stitch say, Ikiniki Niha, Akatiki Baba, 
Yagi igu tashu pa? Musha chika, hiki miki coconut. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop. I'm gonna just gonna go off and on. Lilo and Stitch is on a 10 out of 10 balls. Smooch your mahalo, man.